the one and only Motor City Madman, Ted Nugent. people that represent our government, there's some good ones in there, don't get me wrong. But if it was a house, it would be a teardown. It wouldn't be a rebuild. And if, you're, if I sound pissed off about it, it's because I am. But I'm not pissed off at the Democrats, and I'm not pissed off at the Republicans. I'm pissed off at our apathetic people in this country that allowed it to happen. Because the Republicans have just as much to blame or more for the reason that Donald J. Trump's not in office right now. Because they were weak and they wouldn't stand up. But the reason we have these weak Republicans are in there because we didn't do our homework. Because we didn't elect people that were rock solid, that wouldn't waver. The only opportunity that we have to get the right people in office is to show up at the primaries across the whole nation and replace them all. If you want to do the easy way to do this, just take every incumbent and don't vote for them. Vote for new blood. Just blindly vote for, whoever, vote for whoever's new because we're going to do much better that way than the people that are representing us. If you don't know already, the people that represent us just passed in 24 hours a $1.5 trillion bill. Does anybody know how many millions is in 1.5 trillion? 150 million millions, in case you're not good at math. That's $8,800 per household in this country that they just spent without any of us wanting to do that. None of, they're not representing the American people. The American people, they might, we might 
maybe vote for it if they'd give it all to our households. Can you imagine the economy? You can't even buy a freaking truck or a laptop now. Imagine if, you, if every American household had an extra $8,800 that they just, they just blew. And they, what's more disgusting is it's 2,600 pages. It's as much as seven books, and they passed it in 24 hours. You know not a damn one of them read it. I send, I send a lot of these congressmen two pages. I can't even get a re reply. They can't even read two pages, and they read 2,600 freaking pages in 24 hours. I don't think so. So we're mad right now. We're mad at ourselves. But we are waking up. It don't look like there's a crazy amount of people sitting right here, but there's over a thousand tickets been sold and everyone's in the fringes and people are here. During our revolution, it was only 3% of the people that stood up to, to make this country what it was. 3%. 97% of the people were waiting back to see which way the tide was going to turn. The people that are out here today are among the 3%. And you got to figure out, no matter, you got to figure out what it is that you can do because this is a dire time. We're not going to get another chance. This, this midterm 2022 election is the most crucial election of our lifetime. Don't kid yourself. Yeah, exactly. One of the things that I'm most proud of is the people are waking up at the school boards. We see across the whole country we see people that are showing up in droves. We're actually called domestic terrorists, right? If we're showing up raising hell at the school boards because they're trying to cram this socialist down our throat. So right now I'd like to I'm gonna take a chance. I'm gonna, I'd like to take the opportunity rather to introduce to you the Collier County School Board people that I am getting behind. And that's Kelly Lichter. Kelly Lichter's been fighting for our schools for a long time. Jerry Rutherford. Now I've heard people, I've heard people tell me Jerry Rutherford's too old. Bullshit. Yeah. I heard Jerry Rutherford's not good on a computer. He's taking computer classes. My great grandfather was illiterate. But he wouldn't have let none of this shit happen in the school boards that we're seeing right now, I can tell you that. I'll bet you our founding fathers weren't too damn good on a computer either. So I like Jerry Rutherford because he's been showing up for the school boards for 35 years, raising hell while the rest of us were sleeping. He's one of the few people that don't have to be mad at himself because he was showing up. And I'm behind Tim Moser because Tim Moser is going to stand the ground. He's not going to be bulldozed by this insanity. We need people that have backbone. It's all about backbone. I don't want to hear about what, what IQ someone has or what level of education they have. I graduated from North Fort Myers High School. Common sense is common sense and, and, and some back is all we need right now. And in Lee County, I'm getting behind Denise Nystrom and Christy DiVigili. And the reason is they've been showing up. They've been showing up before it was cool. And that's the, that's the kind of people I want to, want to get behind, people that got backbone, that are going to stand up. And it's the only way that we're going to take back this country. It's the only chance. The school board is just a little microcosm of the same 535 that are making the reckless decisions. They just spent $1.5 trillion at our federal government the school board of Lee County said spends $2 billion. If I could run the Lee County School Board, I could put an extra billion dollars back into the taxpayer and give everybody a, 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 probably a 300% better education if you let a businessman run it. There's so much corruption going on up there, it's disgusting. But we're awake now. So I want every single person that hears my voice to go out and find five other people to show up for the primary and make sure that they vote for strong people. Do your homework. The reason we're in this situation right now, because we have not been doing our homework, we're voting for whoever sounds good on TV, for whoever spends the most money to get the name recognition, and unfortunately, those are almost always the wrong people. If you don't know it by now, everything you see on TV 
is not worth watching. I turned the TV set off a long time ago. So we got a pack. It's called Citizens Awake Now. I'm going to put some signs up at Seed the Table for you to donate to that pack. That pack is 100% going to be used in Collier and Lee County. It's for the school boards and the Collier Commissioner races. And I, I'm, I'm supporting Chris Hall for, for Collier County Commissioner and Dan Koval. These are guys that are going to stand bold. And I'm making these announcements now so you can start thinking about it. I'm not saying you got to vote on who I like, but I've done some homework on it. And these are the guys. I consider myself a halfway decent judge of character because I have almost 4,000 employees. And every day I'm hiring and firing people, and I get to know human nature, and I think I'm a good judge of character. Do I get duped sometimes? Absolutely. But I think right now that I have the best candidates that I've done the homework on, and I hope that you join with me. We're going to get out there, we're going to make some noise, and we're going to get the right people elected. And we got to, you got to bring other people. we got to show up. This is the last time not to show up. So I just want to finish, Sean, thanking everyone for, for, for coming out today. And, and I just, uh, you know, I pray every single night, but that prayer has to be followed by action. And every single person out there has a unique ability to do something for this cause. So I, I'm praying that you're going to show up and do that. And um, thank you for coming out. God bless America.